Hi gorgeous and a very happy frugal Friday to you. If you are new to the channel and this is the first video you've seen from me, welcome. I make videos like this every Friday focusing on drugstore products, so please subscribe and you'll always be notified of new videos in the future. Today I have another drugstore must-haves, must-nots list to share with you with a lot of must-nots this month. Jumping right on in, we'll start with a must-have and that is the Ardell Wanna Get Lucky Eyeliner Pencils. I have been using these exclusively over the past month, even more so than my Rimmel Scandalize pencils, which you know how much I love those little guys. These last, it seems like forever, on the waterline. They look spectacular at the end of the day. They don't move, they don't budge. They are one of the best drugstore priced pencil eyeliners I have used, with the exception to the Rimmel ones. Fabulous products, and you can get Ardell makeup products at Sally Beauty. But on the flip side, since we're talking about Ardell here, I wanted to share a must not with you from their line, and that is their Fame Chaser Liquid Eyeliner. I tested one of these out very recently, and picture is worth a thousand words. This is what it looked like at the end of nine hours of wearing it. It transferred on my upper lid. Look at that, that's terrible. Smudged on the lower lash line, it went everywhere. It did not stay put. So I do not recommend trying these out. While their pencil eyeliners are really good, steer clear of the liquid eyeliners. Another must have I wanted to share with you is one of the products from Profusion that I reviewed for you as part of last week's video from their holiday 2017 collection and that is their brow kit. Now Profusion is coming out in Target stores on November 5th so you can find this brow kit in stores during that time. I haven't seen it on their website so I'm not sure if they're going to be offering it on the website but ever since I started using this this past month, I have been using it over and over and over and over. I love the pencil, I love the powders, they last a long time on the brows. It's just an all around great buy and you can't beat it. Another must have product is the Physicians Formula PH Matchmaker Bronzer and I did do a whole video review and wear test with this one last month. I'll have it linked for you below if you happen to miss that video. I love this bronzer. It's one of those that is designed to match your skin tone no matter what your skin tone is after application. It uses your body chemistry somehow to give you the perfect shade. I don't really care too much for the packaging of the bronzer. I feel like it's overkill and a little bougie. I mean, they put lights and mirrors and all this like extra stuff in here that they really didn't need to and I feel like that drove the price up more than it should have been. The bronzer itself is really great and I have been using this one almost exclusively over the past month. I'm wearing it again today. It's one of those great products and you know I don't wear bronzer so that's saying a lot. A must not I wanted to share with you is from a brand called Sweet and Shimmer. I've never heard of this brand before. I saw it on Ulta's website so I said, hmm, let me try this out. I ordered one of their blush palettes, tried it out, very pigmented on application, a little sheerer than I would have liked, but unfortunately this one faded so badly by the end of the day, you couldn't even tell that I had applied any blush onto my cheeks. And in this little blush palette, they do give you a highlighter as an added bonus, but I would say skip this. Even though the price is really attractive, it's not worth it. There are much better blushes out there at this price point. Another must not I wanted to share with you. <laughs> I'm gonna mention these two together because they go hand in hand. They're terrible just all to get all the way around. They're just nasty. And those are the model's own runway foundation and their loose translucent powder. Uh, I don't even know where to start with these two products. First of all, the foundation was way pale when I first applied it. And by the end of the day, this is what really grossed me out about these products the most, was how they looked at the end of the day. My skin has never looked so terrible. Ugh, the foundation was falling apart, the powder was bringing out dry skin on my face. It was absolutely awful. Do I recommend these? Um, oh, heck no. One of you had actually mentioned recently in a comment where I tested out the lip sealer that Models Own is a brand in the UK that is known for not being of good quality. Yeah, I would say that. Every single product I've tried out from them so far, I have not liked at all. So I don't think I'm gonna be trying out any more products from this brand, and I don't recommend that you do either. So I've been getting a lot of questions about the NYX In Your Element collection that came out recently. I picked up one of their palettes. 
the most colorful one, I might add, because I like the challenge. And I have to tell you, the pigmentation is extreme. And these last all day, they don't fade either. I did do a look with this palette for the Instagram page last month, so you're welcome to check that out. But if you've been curious about this collection, it's worth looking into, very high quality. Another product that I'm a little on the fence with, I'm not really sure if I wanna label it a must have or a must not, I'll give you the pros and cons and you can decide for yourself, is from Maybelline. This was done in collaboration with Gigi Hadid. I think that's how you say her name. If not, I'm so sorry. I honestly just figured out who she was. I don't follow Holly Weird. Sorry, I don't. It's one of the eyeshadow palettes in the shade Warm. And when you first look at the package from the outside, it looks like it's going to be something similar to the Urban Decay Naked Basics palettes. But when you open it up, Whoa, are you disappointed, especially when you are thinking it might be something like the Naked Basics palette. I mean, look at that tiny little sliver of eyeshadow they give you. That's absolutely ridiculous, in my opinion. Maybelline, could you have spared the eyeshadow or what? But what I will tell you, despite the little amount that they do give you, the color payoff is beautiful and the pigmentation is very strong on the eyes. It does last all day and it does not fade. And you don't really have to layer these eyeshadows to get them to show up, which is really nice to see. Another Another must have I wanted to share with you is from Essence and that is their Express Dry Nail Polish Drops. These caught my attention at Ulta because I'm looking for something that will make my nail polish dry faster so I can get going because I don't have that much time these days. The idea behind this is that after you paint your nails you apply one or two drops of the formula and your nails are poof dry. Well. Kinda, it does work. It sets the nail polish a lot faster than if you let it set by itself. I would say within 30 seconds, the nail polish is almost set, but it's not fully set. And you do have to still be careful about bumping into things or smudging them. So you still have to wait for about 10 or 15 minutes for them to fully dry. But it does help to speed up the drying time. Unfortunately, I dropped mine on the tile floor and the bottle shattered everywhere, so I can't show you a demonstration or the bottle, but I will tell you that it does work and I'm gonna have to go get another one. Thankfully, it's cheap enough to where I didn't cry too much about it shattering on the tile floor. Last must have I wanted to share with you is another product from Essence. They came out with a collection called The Velvets and this looks like one of those gift sets for Christmas this year. It's on Ulta's website. I'll have it linked for you below. There are eight matte finish eyeshadows in here, so I had to test these out. The eyeshadow look I'm showing you here with these eyeshadows uses You Better Mauve in the crease, fluffy clouds on the inner half of the lid, and then Mr. Mocha Bean on the outer half of the lid. I liked the pigmentation with these. They do require a little bit of layering because they are a little sheer on initial application, so you do have to work with them a little bit more. But for the price point, I mean really. These are wonderful. And to give you an idea of how they wear, this is what my eyes looked like at the end of nine hours. There is some fading, they do muddy a little bit, but come on, for the price that you pay for these, they still look really nice at the end of the day. And I do recommend checking them out if you're looking for an affordable brand that does have matte eyeshadows. Was that strap bothering anybody else the whole video? I don't know how long it looked like that. <laughs> Oops. Those are all my must-haves and must-nots for this month. I hope you found this helpful if you have been considering any of these products. I'm also working on a battle of the setting sprays, concealers, and face primers at the moment. I should have the one up for primers by next Friday. So yeah, a lot more good, bad, and ugly to share with you here in the future. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I wish you a wonderful weekend ahead and I look forward to seeing you again next time are the Essence Express Nail, let me try that again. I hope that you found them helpful, helpful, helpful.